Hello, I'm Mark with the Trimble Mobile Mapping Support Team. In this video, I will show how to process a mobile mapping trajectory using the Trimble Business Center software. I will begin with a mobile mapping project already loaded into TBC and the project saved to the computer. Import the base station data into the project by using the import function or by dragging and dropping the file onto the plan view. Select the OK button on the receiver raw data check-in dialog to complete the import process. Select the mobile mapping mission in the project explorer, select the mobile mapping ribbon, then select the process raw trajectory data icon. Verify in the process raw trajectory data dialog that the path set in the GNSS and inertial raw data and the SBED output folders are correct. Verify the correct selection of the Rhinex data that will be used for GNSS processing. Enable a cutoff interval at the start or end of the trajectory if needed. Enable the use of GAMS and or a DMI if needed and verify the lever arm values are correct. Select an appropriate initialization mode from the drop-down list. Select the compute button to begin processing the trajectory. A QC PDF report and a dialog offering several different display plots will automatically open when the processing has finished. Various plots can be viewed in the Display Plots dialog, which allow you to review the results of the computed trajectory. For example, expanding the second group Smooth Performant Metrics reference frame features plots that display the horizontal and vertical position errors along the trajectory. Plots can be viewed individually, or several can be shown overlaid in the same view. The QC PDF report contains a lot of information regarding the results of the trajectory computation as well. TBC can display a colorized trajectory that shows RMS values, which can be activated by selecting the trajectory settings icon in the mobile mapping ribbon. Selecting RMS values from the Rendering Settings drop-down list allows you to define colors that will be used to show a specific range of RMS values, allowing for easy quality evaluation of the computed trajectory. Select the OK button to apply the rendering settings. Selecting Default from the Rendering Settings drop-down list in the Trajectory Settings dialog, followed by selecting the OK button, will return the display of the trajectories to a classic view. The color red shows the real-time trajectory, and the color green shows the process trajectory. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Cheers!